Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm in a little different setup. I'm sitting on the floor versus when I'm sitting on my little stool because today I'm gonna be showing you guys my organization for my hair products. So recently I've been accumulating a lot of hair products, so I need to adjust how I'm organizing them because right now the situation that I have isn't working. I just have a little three drawer cart from Target and it's like the little clear things and it's starting to get overflowed by all the products that I have. So I'm gonna use my three cube organizer, which I'm sure you guys have all seen, that has the boxes that hold these little bins. So the goal of today's video is to use these two additional bins that I bought for my 3 cube organizer along with just decluttering some of the stuff that I don't use anymore and I hope that will, you know, fix the situation that I have. And I thought this would be a good video because I've seen like declutter with me's before and it's really interesting to see like the products that people have and if they really use them and just seeing their quick opinions on them. So I'm also going to be like showing you guys like all the products that I have, if I like them, if I don't like them, and I'm going to be throwing away some things. So I thought it would be a pretty cool video. So if you guys want to see how I organize, then keep watching. So as you can see, this is my 3 cube organizer. I currently have 5 boxes, but the purple boxes are already being used for other things. The 2 gray boxes are the new boxes that I just bought in hopes of helping myself organize all these hair products. This is the three drawer cart that I have that's currently holding all my products, but it's definitely getting to the point where I need some additional organization. Okay guys, so you can see I have a lot of products, and the first thing that I really want to do is just organize them by product type, so like shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, curl creams, stuff like that. So I'm just going to do a quick little time lapse to organize everything so then I can kind of wrap my head around how I want to organize it and just what I have. Like, I don't know everything that I have. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have only four shampoos. I have the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla and Almond Milk. These two I really love, so I'm definitely gonna keep these two. This Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Shampoo I think is really bomb, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this Cantu Cleansing Cream Shampoo. It's almost out, so I'll probably finish it, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. That just sums up my shampoos. Now for conditioners, you already know what's going on if you're a natural girl. You have 15 billion conditioners and like one shampoo. So for my conditioners, I have the Black Vanilla, which matches the shampoo, and then the Almond Milk. But this Almond Milk one is gone, or it's dried up. So I'm gonna be trashing this one. The Pantene Pro-V formula. This was actually my boyfriend's, but he didn't like the way it smelled, so I just have this. But I really like this one. It has a lot of slip. It's pretty bomb. The next one I have is this Cantu Hydrating Cream Conditioner, but it's gone, so I'll be throwing this one out. The next product I have is this Whole Blends Illuminating Conditioner, Moroccan and Camilla Oils Extract. This product I really, really like. Like, Garnier is trying to come out with, you know, these black girl brand, these black girl hair products now. But I really, really like this one. I actually just purchased two more products, the Rice Milk line. So I'll definitely be making a video on that. But this one's empty, so I'll be throwing this one away too, but I definitely recommend that. This Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Conditioner, I really like this product. It's almost empty, so I'll be finishing this and then probably be repurchasing eventually. Um, This Palmer's Olive Oil Conditioner, it's okay. It's nothing crazy. I don't know why I bought it, honestly. I probably just picked it up. So I'll finish this and then be done with that because it's not really doing anything for me. This next conditioner, y'all. I love this another you know Garnier black girl conditioner or curly girl conditioner and this is the coconut water and vanilla milk I really like this one it's super moisturizing and then the last one I have is this Maui moisture one this one is okay it has just a little bit left so I'll probably just get rid of this one because I'm not gonna use the rest of this so trash okay. so now that I've sorted through the first set of products I'm gonna put the shampoo and conditioners in the top drawer I think that would be really smart because it's the beginning of wash day, you know, shampoo, conditioner. So it'll be the first drawer that I open. So I'm just going to put everything in there. Y'all, I already feel more organized. Like, I just feel my brain just being like, yes, yes, Dominique. Like, you're organized. So this is what it's looking like. Moving on to my next category, I have all my leave-in conditioners. Hands down, my favorite leave-in conditioner of this group 
are these two products. So first I have the Eden Body Works Natural Leave-In Conditioner, which I've talked about multiple times on my channel. I really, really love this one. It's almost out, as you can see. So I'll be keeping this one. And the second one is the Mrs. Jessie's Leave-In Conditioner. I really, really love this one as well. As you can see, it is empty. So this I will be trashing. Moving on to the Cream of Nature Leave-In Curl Milk. This isn't necessarily a leave-in conditioner, but it's a leave-in product, so I felt as though it's close enough to a leave-in conditioner. I really like this one. And the Garnier Fruit Teeth leave-in conditioner. This is one of the first leave-in conditioners I ever used when I first was, you know, becoming natural and taking care of my hair a lot more. And I really like this product as well. Next is the Cantu leave-in conditioner, which is, if you're natural, then I'm sure you've tried this product. It's pretty affordable, works pretty good. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I really like this one as well. It's a balm leave-in conditioner. I think I need a new one because it's starting to get weird on the bottom. Definitely going to trash this one and re-up and get a new one. And then the final leave-in conditioner is this Olive Oil Mango Butter leave-in conditioner by Elasta QP. Guys, if you've never heard of this brand, you should definitely try it out. It's in Sally Beauty. That's the only place I've seen it. And it's very affordable. Another product that I like from them, I'll be talking about next. That's all my leave-in conditioners, including the ones I'm gonna keep and the ones that I'm going to trash. Moving on to my deep conditioning treatments. I only have two. Of course, the Eden Body Works one, I really like the natural hair mask treatment. It leaves my hair feeling really soft, but my favorite one is this Elasta QP Argan Oil Soy Proteins Plus Vitamins Ultra Hydration Anti Breakage Moisture Rich Deep Conditioner. This is a deep conditioner that, oh my goodness, y'all. Definitely try this out. See, it says Argan Soy Oil Protein Plus Vitamins Plus Omega 3 and 6. This product is super bomb. Highly recommend. I chose to put the second set of products in the second bin because that gives me the option to have enough room when I buy new hair products or when I buy more deep conditioners and leave-in treatments, then I'll have enough room for that because I need more, like I'm gonna try more products. So that gives me the room for that. So I'm gonna move on to the curling creams, which is a lot. I have a lot of curling creams and a lot of conditioners. So as you can see, I have a good amount of curling creams. So I'm just gonna run through them really quickly. The Maui Moisture. I've talked about many times. I really love this one, especially in combination with this Eden Body Works Natural Curling Defining Gel or Defining Cream. So I'll definitely be keeping those two, no question. The next two I have, it's the same product, the All Natural Pudding Souffle. I really like this one, it's almost gone. So I already restocked, I have a whole new one ready to go. The next products I'm gonna talk about are all these Cantu products. The Grow Strength Treatment, the Moisturizing Curl Cream, the Comeback Curl Next Day Revitalizer, and the Coconut Curl Cream. All these products I have tried, I like them. They are not the ones I grab first, but they're definitely products that I will incorporate into my hair routine. And then I have this As I Am Moisture Milk. You can barely read it because it's like foil and it like peels off which i think is pretty stupid but this product is also really good it's very it has a strong scent it smells good but it has a very strong scent and then this eden body works hydration custard which i also like it's a good product i haven't used that much of it so i'm definitely going to be incorporating this into my routine as well i feel like the curl creams are perfect to go in my organizer because they are mostly all in jars so i feel like they'll stay pretty secure won't have too much cleanup and it'll just be easy for me to organize them in a way that I can quickly see what products I'm reaching for. At least for now. Once I get more, I might have to rethink this setup. But for now, I really like it. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, I just have everything lined up nice and easy so I can grab whatever product I'm looking for super quick and super efficiently. So these are all my gel products. I have talked about all of these on my channel except for one, I believe, which is the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle. And this is a pretty interesting texture. The two that I've talked about a lot on my channel, the Eden Body Works Natural Curling Jelly and the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. These two just give me really nice hold and definition. The Garnier Fruit Teas Curl Sculpt Gel, this was a big surprise. It really worked wonders on my hair. I have a whole video on it. I think it's called Testing Out Garnier Fruit Teas Hair Products or something like that. I'll link it below, but this product is super bomb. 
Then I have my Eco Styler Gels, the typical Argan styling gel, which I love. And then the Eco Olive Oil Shea Butter and Black Castor Oil with some flaxseed oil. And then the one that I love, the Gotta Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel, which just leaves me bomb. So since gels are something that I use pretty much on an everyday basis, I decided to just put those on top of my three card organizer just so I can quickly grab them whenever I need to just slick down my edges super quick or just use them. So as you can see, they're on top of my organizer, which I think will be really good and will just make it very easy when I wanna grab them. The final products I have here are my flat iron sprays. I just have the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat spray, which is really good and it smells super good. So I love blow dry my hair with this and the Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Protecting Spray. Both of these work really well with my hair in terms of protecting it from heat damage. My two edge controls, I have the Curls Line Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. I also love the Curls Blueberry Bliss one. And then I have the Murray's Edge Wax. I mostly reach for these two when I'm doing box braids or feed in braids, some style like that when I really wanna make sure everything is nice and slick. And then I have my two hair sprays for when on the off chance I need to hairspray something. This one works really well, especially when I have weave. I can just make sure my curls stay nice and in place. And then I have the Tresemme Extra Firm Control, which I also really love. These four products I'm gonna put in my second box. So the reason I chose to put these in there together is I don't use them as often because I don't normally put hairspray in my hair. I don't blow dry my hair that often. I just thought it would be easier to have all these products out of the way together, if that makes sense. So this is the finished result of my organization. As you can see, I have my gel on top, my three drawer organizer. Then moving over to my cube organizer, I have the two gray buckets that are filled with products. So it might not seem like I have that many products, but it definitely was getting out of hand and I really need to take the time to organize everything. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I hope this gave you a couple ideas on how to organize your hair products or any products for that matter that you have just been having cluttered in your room, in your bathroom or whatever. And I also hope it gave you a couple ideas in terms of hair products because you got to see my whole hair collection as of right now. It's going to get better as you know. Months progress. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!